Welcome to the Anderson Tours Holy Land Scripture Series, Understanding God, Scriptures, and Self. This is part one, the Foundation Series. The knowledge and material that we get to discuss and cover in this series fits perfectly into what President Romney called the most important knowledge in the universe. The vantage point we get to take in this series is utilizing all of our research and experience in the Holy Land and power packing all of those insights for you into small manageable packages in the form of 15 episodes per series. We also harness the power of place with the 360 video footage from our virtual Holy Land. And we bring all of those insights to you. They are organized for you in chronological order so that you can maximize the benefit of your study. We offer the first virtual tour of the Holy Land and you will get access to all that footage, which will be very helpful. The overall objective in this series is to strive, is to, strive to understand God and the scriptures and in turn ourself. What you can expect in this series are 15 succinct lessons that detail the most significant stories and doctrines from the first 4,000 years of the Earth's history particularly as it relates to God's interactions with his people. So it's a spiritual history. Every lesson contains either necessary information in order to understand the prophecies of the last days or other scripture, or there are insights to be gained from visiting the site virtually from our virtual tour. And oftentimes uh, the episodes will have both of those. In episode one, we get to orient you to the city of Jerusalem. You will come to learn that this fascinating city that is currently the center and um, for three major religions, but it's also has been a spiritual epicenter for virtually all of God's interactions with his people, not just historically, but also in the future. The Jews, uh, so let's just talk about the Dome of the Rock for just a minute. In the middle of Jerusalem is this big, beautiful Muslim shrine structure called the Dome of the Rock. The rock underneath the dome, the Jews call it the foundation stone. They believe that when God started to create the earth, this is where he started. They believe it's the center of the universe. Now, Christians will call it the Holy of Holies. That's what the Crusaders called it when they came. The Muslims, however, it's their third most holy site. Uh, they believe that is where Muhammad ascended for his night vision. And as his footprint left the rock, the tradition is that the rock tried to follow him into heaven, creating a cave. And in that rock, in that cave, they call the well of spirits or the well of souls, where they believe that the departed spirits are waiting for judgment. So again, it is the center of three major religions, but again, the epicenter of all of God's interactions with his children and will continue in the future. That's episode one. After episode one, uh, the next 14 series, we will start with the pre-mortal existence, cover the creation and go all the way up to the New Testament. Part two and three in our scripture series uh, cover the life and ministry of Christ and cover the significant New Testament material. But in this Old Testament series, we go through the creation, Enoch, Noah, ancient temples, the Abrahamic covenant, Sodom and Gomorrah, Moses and the Exodus, the law of Moses, the significance of the promised land, the three kings of Israel, Saul, David, and Solomon, how the kingdom of Israel splits and 10 of the tribes become lost. We cover Elijah and the destruction of the temple, which becomes very, very significant in understanding the abomination of desolation spoken of by the Savior in relation to his second coming. We cover all of that in 15 episodes. It's a scriptural journey filled with insight and some of the most important knowledge in the universe. We try to just focus on the things that you need to know that will be significant to understand the other scriptures and also key knowledge that will help you be ready to tackle and understand the likes of Isaiah, 
Ezekiel, Daniel, the book of Revelation, etc. Many of the prophecies that are made about our day and the last days and the events leading up to the second coming are in those books and they're a little challenging, but after you take this foundation series, you will literally be ready to tackle those. You'll be amazed at how simple they are to understand. The second thing you can expect in this uh, scripture series are the 360 video footage that we took relating to our virtual tour of the Holy Land. And what's great about doing it in this virtual environment versus a physical tour of the Holy Land is we get to do it absolutely chronological. And we also get to take time. We're not limited on site like we are on a physical tour. We wanted to just uh, reiterate why we call this the Holy Land Scripture series. And it's because of how significant the Holy Land is in God's interactions with his people especially the city of Jerusalem. We believe strongly that the more we understand Jerusalem and the Holy Land, the more we understand the scriptures. An example of this is when Nephi quotes 12 straight chapters of Isaiah. And at the end, he says, now you could understand these if you were, well, the reason why I understand them, Nephi says, is because I've lived in Jerusalem and I understand the geography and the manner of prophesying unto the Jews. And the more you understand that stuff, the more you will understand Isaiah. So again, we call this the Holy Land Scripture Series because the more we understand Jerusalem and the Holy Land, the more we'll understand the scriptures. The more we understand the scriptures, the more we understand God. The more we understand God, the more we understand ourselves. The more we understand ourselves, the more clearly we understand life and our purpose in it. The more clear we are on the purpose in life, the happier we are, and the more meaningful and peaceful life is for us. Knowing who we are, why we're here, that we're not alone, that there's a plan for us, that God really does know us and watches over us, that He is in control and has shared with us everything we need to know in the Scriptures to be able to crack the code to all that is meaningful and true. Now in conclusion, we all know that not all knowledge is created equal. And we have found that knowledge of Jerusalem and the Holy Land is very important. And learning about the events in history there wraps it all up in a nice little package that really helps with understanding the scriptures. We've done our best to keep the information focused and concentrated on the truths that will be most meaningful to you, especially in understanding your unique role in the last days and preparing for the second coming. This has been a 40 plus year project in the making, and we're so thrilled to finally be able to share it with you in a concise and easy to understand manner. This series is for all ages and for everyone, no matter your religion, background, or belief system. And we invite you to join us in this special series, and we promise you won't regret it. If nothing else, by going through this program, you'll get to know the Holy Land better. You'll renew your knowledge of the scriptures and be edified with each presentation as your knowledge becomes strengthened, either through repetition of things you've learned before, or by expanding and adding on to that knowledge you already have. In either case, you'll be engaged in what President Romney called the most important knowledge in the universe. We look forward to this journey together. We promise you will never read the scriptures the same way again. Our deepest hope and desire is that it will bring you closer to your creator as you come to understand God, scriptures, and yourself. Now, there's two things we mention on our tours, and one of them is, is the way we let everyone know it's time to go. We say, let's go! So we want to invite you to join us and we thank you very much for your time and attention today and we invite you as you sit down to enjoy these presentations that you'll also bring your very best alacrity we'll see you soon <laughs>